All right, so yesterday, Cam posted a video popping a balloon out to 160. So I figured I'd give it a shot. One arrow, here we go. All right, that was fun. I, uh, I was at the gym. We just got back from the gym, sitting at the gym, doing some cardio, watching some Instagram videos, and I watched Cam pull up and shoot 160 yards, shoot a balloon at 160 yards, so got my mind going, and when I got home, I set it all up, and we shot it, and it was fun. One shot, one arrow, done. I shoot a lot. I do, guys. I, I, shoot, I shoot a lot more than I post about and, and video and talk about. Um, I'm a shooter. I'm not. I'm not the type to play with the bow, geek out on it, adjust it, tune it. I got a good archery shop for that. But I do love shooting my bow, and I shoot a lot. So, I've had a lot of you guys that are kind of requesting some of my gear and what I'm using. And uh, this is the uh, Elite Energy 35. This is my favorite bow that I have shot. This will be season. This will be season number four with this bow. Um, before this, I shot nothing but Hoyt. Love Hoyt. I will shoot Hoyt again. Uh, I'm not, no, no gripes whatsoever about Hoyt. As a matter of fact, this is almost as good as my Hoyt Vectrix that I had. Well, it's been two bows ago. It was my all time favorite bow. I, I own that bow. I hunted with that bow for two seasons and uh, shot the crap out of it. Never once did I have to adjust anything tweak with anything, um, tune anything. I seriously just shot that bow. I'd keep buying arrows is all I ever did. Uh, sold that to a kid. See, it's been almost, well, almost four years now. And uh, actually here in another month, in, in August, it'll be four years that I sold that bow to a kid. And he's still shooting it. Swears up and down he hasn't had to do anything to it. Adjust it, nothing. He's still shooting. And on top of it, he's shooting a, a mirage of, of different arrows out of it, and it's still money. I love that bow. This bow, I love this bow too, for all different reasons. But this is, those two are tied for me, honestly. But I shoot XL bows, longer bows. I like the forgiveness in the hunting situation. Um, we're using the, we're shooting the loophole. Uh, RX full full uh, draw black gold seven pin slider um, tight spot quiver B stinger I I shoot a short stabilizer because I don't like it getting caught up in brush and stuff and uh, I do not shoot a wrist sling this bow doesn't move in my hand there's no need for it if anything it, it's it gets in the way something else to catch on stuff while you're spotting stock and I shoot a rip cord drop away drop away rest um, I'm shooting 80 pounds with that bow it is currently sh shooting at 310 feet per second with it, as is with my hunting setup and uh, I've been shooting I've been shooting the Easton injections and I shoot a lighter arrow I'm thinking about changing arrows this year though, just because of the issues that I have had with broadheads. That is one thing that I have not been pleased with is broadhead flight. Um, I like the Ramcats that I shot last year. What I don't like about the Ramcats, and I've got some right here, is they, uh, they're a pain in the ass to get in and out of the quiver and I keep bending tips. I don't know if you can see that tip. But it is bent and it's not bent as bad as some have been. Just trying to get them out of the quiver, it's, it's a nightmare. 
So I'm not going to shoot those again this year. And I'm still kind of up in the air on arrows. So yeah, that's, uh, that's my bow. That's what I'm shooting, guys. So I'm going to get back to work. I got some more video to get edited for you guys.